Hey, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the life expectancy by country. Now, before we get this video even started, we should all know women are going to live longer than men in all countries. Here's a graph representation of what the life expectancy was from 1955 to now. And as you can see, at any point in any time in history, females will live longer than males. Why? I have no clue. Most likely because we are stupid. And we like to do adventurous things without thinking. But in all seriousness, yes, from 1950, as you can see, the females were living to almost 50 and males were living to 45 and then as you can see it slowly grows all the way to 1990s where females are almost 70 years old and the males are 62 all the way up to 2020 where as you can see now women are all around the world living to at least 75 years old while males are at least got to 70. The life expectancy has been growing since the 50s probably even before that but we're going to break it down even more by checking by country what is the life expectancy average in that country. As you can see like I said life expectancy has been growing throughout the entire world and in Infant mortality rate has actually been dropping, which is great, obviously. Population in the world since the 60s has grown from 2 billion almost to 8 billion in 2020, and I have no clue if that's slowing down, which is kind of crazy seeing that the population is growing incredibly huge. When you look at the fertility rate in the world, it used to be like five babies a person, now it's down to two and a half, which could mean multiple factors, not just you can't have babies, but you choose not to have babies, whatever the case. And so just like last video, we're going to be now looking at all these countries separately to see how long we're going to live. We're also going to look at the top 10 countries of who lives the longest and the 10 who do not live the longest. So when we look at this map, they're going to be giving us a number, which is based off the average of males and females in that country. So just know whatever number is on your country. If you're a female, you're probably living longer than that. And if you're a male, you'll be lucky to even live that age that I'm giving you. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel a lot. Without further ado, let's see how long we have to live. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and start on the right side again. Why not? We're gonna go to Australia with its average at 83.7. So almost 84 years old. That's pretty good. Pretty good. I don't know if the females are making it a little better, but you know, whatever. It's still good. And then let's see their neighbors over here in New Zealand at 82.6. So just a little bit smaller than Australia. Not too much, just a little. Let's go ahead and go to Japan. We got it at 84.9. Wow, that's pretty good. That's so far the highest country if you want to live forever. I guess just move to Japan. All right, now let's go ahead and go to Russia. We got it at 72.8. So that's almost a 10-year difference between Japan and Russia. This might be skewed because of what's happening right now, so I can't answer to that. Uh, but why not look at Ukraine? Because it's right next to it and it's topical, like I said. 72.3. So according to this map, Russians and Ukrainians live about the same but russia has it just by 0.5 all right now let's go ahead and look at china at 77.3 so we are starting to look at the 70s the more west we go from japan and australia which is interesting already i don't understand why but it is what it is each country has its own separate thing so i understand why now let's go to the philippines which is 71.5 okay so another six years lost compared to the chinese don't know why check out indonesia which we all know indonesia is now the shortest country we've now so let's see about age so indonesia is going to be 72.1 so they do live longer than the Filipinos by about a year, but still pretty behind compared to Australia and Japan. All right, now let's go ahead and look at India, the highest population in the world. So India is at 70.19. Wow, this is actually the lowest we've seen in a country so far. So that could be multiple factors. I mean, India has a lot of population, so I don't know what to say to that. All right, let's go ahead and look at the Nordic countries. So Norway is at 82.7 average. So we're going back to the 80s. This might be because we're going to Europe now at this point. I don't know. Sweden at 83. Wow, it's pretty high up there actually. I think the only one that's even higher than that is Japan. Finland is at 82.3. So all these beautiful countries in the north are all over 80. Now let's go ahead and start going down to Europe. Poland, almost 80. 79, which is actually a lot higher than Ukraine and Russia. So that's interesting to see. We got Germany, which is actually two years older. 81. So I wonder why that is. I believe now we're starting to get to the point where probably the way your country eats or lives or is depends on your average life experience. Expectancy. Now we got France at 82.9, almost 83. Okay, cool. Which seems about right. I know people in France are pretty skinny, at least in pictures. I don't actually know. I've never been there. The UK, we got 81.6. And Ireland wins again at 82 points. Look at that, Ireland. Two for two. You taller than the UK and you live just a year longer. UK, what are you guys doing, guys? What are you guys doing? You can't be. What are you doing? What's going on here? All right, now we got Spain at 83. Wow, what the hell? I don't know why. I'm just assuming, you know, they have the same type of food that we be eating over here in Mexico. So I thought they'd be a little lower because we got a horrible diet, just so you know. And we got Portugal at 82. So 83, 82. Portugal lives a little bit less than Spain. All right, so let's go ahead and go down to Africa, because why not? I always love to see our African brethren. Egypt, we have it at 72.38 average life expectancy. So still in the 70s. Now we go down to Chad, and this is pretty bad. 54.8. 
89. So almost 55 is the first country that we've seen in the 50s when it comes to life expectancy in a country. You go to South Africa, and we're at 64, so at least we're above 50s. And then Nigeria to 55, which is in the 50s again. Then you move up just one country, and it's literally in the 60s. So a whole almost 10 years just from living in a country right next to you. That says a lot about what's going on in your country. Obviously, the least developed countries are going to have lower life expectancies, which is why you see countries in Africa having below 60, which are in the 50s in some of these countries. Not all of them, but some of them. All right, time to go to South America with Brazil at 76.3. Okay, so we're at least back in the 70s. We got Chile here at 80. Oh, wow, look at Chile going to 80. That's pretty nice. It's going over 70 for average. And then we got Argentina over here at 77. So pretty high 70s, low 80s in South America. I almost forgot Iceland on this little thing. 83.3. Wow, it's pretty high up there. It might be one of the highest life expectancy averages. And let's go ahead and look at North America with Mexico, the USA, and Canada. Mexico is 75.3. Okay, not too shabby. So I got a few years left in me. My ancestors from here, as we all know. So hopefully it's not too bad. We'd be eating horrible. So that could change, especially because I live in America. And now let's see. Do you United States of America, our average life expectancy is, drum rolls please, 79.05. So we didn't even make it to the 80s, even though we're so great. So our life expectancy is 79, almost 80. Actually, it's more like 79. It's not actually even close to 80. But I can usually say it's because, well, we have fast food everywhere. And fast food obviously is not good for us, but it's quick and easy. And we're probably not going to stop eating it. So United States 79. Now let's go to Canada, our healthy brother and most likely. 82.8. Look at that. Almost 83. So yeah, it's not surprising me at all. Canada seems to just be apparently taller than us and just a little healthier than us because they live three years longer than us so there goes that all right so now we're gonna go ahead and look at the top 10 highest life expectancies in the world and then the top lowest 10 shortest life expectancies in the world all right so at number nine is iceland at 83.07 women living at 84.5 and men living at 81.6 so you're still living over the 80s good job iceland then we got australia look at that guys number eight that's crazy because i always think of australia as some crazy continent with a bunch of crazy animals and creatures at least that's what i've seen online with the average life expectancy at 85.4 with men living up to 81.6 i don't know why it doesn't have the women on here but if it had it i would tell you then we got italy at number seven at 83.5 so italians look at that got some of the greatest food and apparently you guys live forever uh with 85.6 years of women wow women there just live forever and the men at 81.4 then we got spain wow they did not give us that to mexico i don't know what happened with that life expectancy at 83.612 the women being 86 wow that's probably Probably the highest for women so far we've seen on this list and the men at 80.9 wow the women are carrying the men to 83.6 average life expectancy uh, but apparently it's known for its mediterranean diet okay so that's where mexico's life expectancy is way lower we do not eat mediterranean food let me let you know mexican food is not good i mean it's great but it's not good for you then from there we have singapore at 83.6 switzerland at 83.8 Eight and the top three highest living countries in the world. I can't even say this name. Makaya. Apparently, this is a special administration region of China, Japan, and Hong Kong. Look at that. Hong Kong is the number one place where you will live almost forever. Their average for females is 87.8. So they are the highest, almost at 88. With oh, look at this, guys. The males living to 82, bro. That's probably the highest country for males as well. So now you know the top 10 countries you want to live forever or maybe just adopt their diets i don't know whatever it is they do there we gotta learn some stuff from these people i have no clue now let's go ahead and look at the top 10 countries with the least life expectancy at 58.8 years of average life expectancy is equatorial guinea to guinea Bissau at 85 58 sorry south sudan at 57.9 ivory coast at 57.8 somalia 57.5 uh sierra Le leone at 54.81 uh, nigeria at 54 and the top three lowest average life expectancy expectancy are Lesotho. I don't even know if I said that properly. Chad. And the number one is Central Africa Republic at 53.3. And according to this article, Africa actually has been getting better between 2000 and 2016. It's actually increased by 10.3 years. So obviously most of these countries are in Africa. And the biggest reason for life expecting being so low was actually because of this stuff that is not good and also malaria but treatment for both of these have been apparently rising since the 2000s so there's a reason why they have such low life expectancy here's a graph just kind of showing has a few countries in here north america central america south america showing pretty much the life expectancy per male life expectancy birth in years and then female life expectancy birth in years you can't really sell but as you can see it's all just going up and there you have it so that is the life expectancy by country in 2022 one thing we can get from this is that at least everyone is getting older so our life expectancy is only 
going to be higher every year, hopefully, with technology and medical advances and all this good stuff. I would also like to thank one of my subscribers for giving me ideas for this video. Ian Ons, I saw the, could I make a life expectancy, buddy? Thank you for the idea. So don't be afraid to comment down below what your life expectancy is or if you think you've passed life expectancy. Or if you have any video ideas, I am looking at the comments, guys. So if another great idea comes out, yours might be the next video. But like I said before, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.